Hi guys, so by Dita Pomepino. I am preparing to make thigh turkey. I have the thigh and the wings cut up in pieces. These are the wings portion. Okay. Here, here's the part of the thigh. It's a big chunks of meat. So what I'm gonna do first is boil the turkey before I fry them. That way when I do fry them, it doesn't, you know, take too long to cook. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Here's my pot of water. All I'm gonna do is sprinkle some salt in there. Hey okay, guys, the water is starting to simmer. I will go ahead and add the turkey pieces in there. I will probably cook this for about 20 minutes. All right guys, let's go ahead and drain and wash the turkey really well in cold water. You wanna make sure you clean it out really well. All the blood that's around the bone. Now this is not fully cooked. You can still see a little bit of blood in there. That's what you want. You don't want the meat to cook fully because you know once you fry them, it's gonna be overcooked. Just enough so that when you put in the oil, it doesn't take long to cook the whole meat. All right guys, the turkey pieces is ready to go. I have about 10 pieces in there. Let's go ahead and start marinating it. Here's my ingredients. This is onion powder. Now this has been um, washed really well and then I let it dry and kind of pat it a little bit with the napkin to get the water out. Excuse my background sound guys. I got my kids watching soccer. This is one reason why I have difficulty doing a um, talking video is because I will have interruptions. Um, here's one tablespoon of the onion powder, paprika. I will do one tablespoon as well. Okay, this is good enough. One tablespoon. Black pepper. do about a teaspoon of that. I have tapioca starch. I will add a tablespoon. Chicken powder. One tablespoon and a half. Lastly, fish sauce. I use this brand, it's not so, too salty, so we will give it about one tablespoon of that. You know what, let's do two tablespoons. Okay. The turkey skin is a little soft, so you kind of want to be gentle with it when you mix. Just mix it away. Kind of rub it in. Okay. You want to get every part of the turkey so you have a nice and flavorful taste. Marinate it, keep it refrigerated for a good 30 minutes, and then fry them up. All right. I will be back. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started with the frying. I'm gonna go ahead and check my oil temperature. Look like it's ready. See that bubble? That tells you your oil is ready to go. Turkey, all nice and marinated. Fry 
fried turkey is all ready to go. I fried it for about five to seven minutes in a medium high heat. All right guys, dinner is served. I got cucumber salad, fried turkey wings and thigh, and of course, sticky rice. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye.